and this is Foul Pal Darrell, and in today's video, darling, I want to verify that water culture still works. Okay, yes, Fail Pal Amy is no longer with us. She no longer makes videos. But guess what, baby? Water culture still works. Stay tuned. So I am going to share with you what I am doing now with all of my orchids in water culture. I am experimenting using the water from my fish aquarium. Yes, God, that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting water out of here as I clean the aquarium. And I am putting it in all of my orchids growing in water culture. And as you can see, there is no black mold. There is no white mold. The water is not even that bad looking. These orchids have been in here for a week and a half. And I have not had to do anything to them. Now, some of them you will see closer as I clean the containers. But what I am inspiring all of my new beginners to do is, honey, as you can see, these are my orchids from Mother's Day. And the blooms are still doing just fantastic. Just fantastic. And I am, all I did was just pulled it out of the dirt out of that growing media, and I placed it in a glass container. I even left that little sponge on there. And the roots are doing better than they would have done if I was adding ice cubes, okay? Stay tuned. So, another reason that new beginners are struggling with water culture is because, you know, you have all built-up media left over on your roots that is hard to come off. Please, foul pal, stop pulling the velamen off the roots, okay? Stop pulling the skin off the roots, trying to remove old pieces of bark or moss. Over time, sitting it in water all day, over time, it will come off. Now, mama is one-handed, so I'm not able to pull that off. So, stay tuned, and I'll show you. If it comes off, it comes off. If it down, it down. Okay. Okay. Right off. It came right off. So, over time, the longer that you introduce the phalaenopsis to water culture, just gently remove um, old media from the roots instead of trying to snatch it all off um, when you first bring it home from the grocery store. Okay, so welcome on back, foul pals. So I wanted you guys to see one of the biggest and common things that new beginners and a lot of people that just have negative things to say about water culture, where do they go wrong, okay? Where, when do you change your water, okay? Like I said, it put, particularly depends on your living environment. But what you want to look for, you see... You see all these trace elements that is left on the glass. You, but can you see how clear the water is? It's actually not even um, time for this one to come out because everything is okay. And I wanted you guys to pay attention to the water decrease. That's how much the orchid is drinking. That's also some water that is evaporating and keeping humidity in the pot. The type of pot that or the type of glass vase that you put your orchid in is going to play a key factor in the overall health okay so um i wanted you guys to see um some vases that definitely needed to be repotted this is another one that's been in here a week and a half and everything is okay it's okay, but I'm going to clean the vases because the cleaner, the better. But this one over here, look how clean that is. I really don't have to clean it, but I'm cleaning it because I'm cleaning the others. But this is one, as you can see, all of the water is now gone. All of the water is now gone. You don't see any snow mold, any black mold, because I took the time and I got off all of the decaying media. Okay, I got it off. I sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide, and I did not immediately put it back into the water, okay? If you're going to cut the roots, if you're going to um, pull tissue off of your phalaenopsis, give it a day or two to dry that wound up, okay? Because if you don't let it dry up, 
once you put it in water, the whole thing is going to go bad. Look at this over here. This definitely needs to be repotted as this is one of the few orchids or the only one that I have that I'm dealing with black mold, black mold, I mean white mold, black mold, and just all kind of ooey and gooey, okay? Ooey and gooey. Now, I'm doing the best that I can, okay? I'm doing the best that I can, but don't you be discouraged. All phalaenopsis are not going to adapt to water culture, okay? But right now, what I am doing, I'm purchasing my miniature phalaenopsis orchids, and then I'm placing them in glass vases until I get new root production. Stay tuned and I'll show you some glass vases that I just purchased from Walmart. I do know that as a new beginner, it's disheartening and even sometimes discouraging to grow phalaenopsis when you have them in this condition. Now, understand that roots of a phalaenopsis orchid is something that grows back seasonal, okay, darling? So even if you lose root production, even if you, ha if you have leaves, if you have good healthy leaves, those roots will come back, okay? And sometimes it will take a long time. Sometimes it won't, okay? But with the bigger phalaenopsis, I'm learning that it can take up to two years. So it's really a wait and, a wait and see game. As you can see, it's a new root production or a new root tip being grown right there. As well as she has a leaf getting ready to um, come up out of there. There you go. You see it. So, baby, just give it time. Give it time. That's why water culture is not working for you. You're not giving it time. If you're not rinsing off your roots once you place it back into your clean container. Once you have cleaned your containers, okay, you want to rinse off your roots, okay? You don't have to use clean, pure water. You can use your faucet water to clean off your roots. Just rinse them off, honey. That's all. We're not scrubbing them with the toothbrush. We're just rinsing them off before you place them into the new clean container. Stay tuned. That's what you heard in the background, darling. I'm sorry. Um, I'm also cleaning out my coffee pot, okay? Put a little vinegar in there. Clean the coffee pot out once a week, and that will keep your coffee tasting fresh, if you did not know. But all of these vases right here came from Walmart. They were $0.97 cent a piece, and they're really cute. I mean, you can't beat it with a stick. You really can't. Now, these are some of my newer orchids that I am going to transition to water culture, okay? This one right here, I'm going to transition it to water culture. As you can see, I do have some smaller glasses because my mini phalaenopsis, I really don't think they are big enough to fit inside of those vases just of yet. But I'll keep you guys updated, but you got to stay tuned. This is another phalaenopsis that I'm going to transition into water culture. Yes, God. Yes, God. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to let you know how everything turned out. Yes, I will. But you got to stay tuned. My um, Shiriana from Norman that I placed in water culture. She's been in here for about a week and a half, okay, as well, in fish water. The leaf is growing, okay, slowly but surely. <laughs> She is growing, okay? Now that you can see she's turning purple. When she first came, that little green right there is all that the leaf was at the time. So she is growing slowly but surely. And if she is growing, she's definitely not dying. So Foul Pals, water culture still works, boo boo. The orchid I'm most proud of. And honey, I forgot all about to mention it. I'm sorry. But as you can see, honey, with just one leaf, another leaf is coming out, and um, she is in the fish water as well. And as you can see, the water is still clean. So after this video, I will let you guys know if I'm able to keep them in water for two weeks straight. Okay, I will let you know, guys, but you got to stay tuned. The proof is in the pudding. It's in the pudding. Okay, so if it is growing, it is okay. It is happy. Let it grow. Now, as you can see, the um, she does have some bad roots. Now, I showed you the water, and the water was still clear. So, in that event, especially with the orchid that's on death's door, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to spray it. It had no mold. So, no mold means let it grow. Okay, I think new root tips are coming out. 
Okay, I will keep you guys updated, but you got to stay tuned. Now, foul pals, if you have already followed the instructions on how to get rid of black mold, according to me, then you would know that sometimes you have to repeat the whole process. This is still black. The orchid is still growing. And typically, if it's growing, it is happy or happy enough. But this is one of the key factors that water culture does not work for you is that you did not repeat the process just because you do it one time does not mean you are in the clear this is still a little too dark for my liking okay as you can see it is some type of sporing of some type of mold like on it so we want to just get it as clean as possible as clean as we can until we start seeing some new root development okay and i am on the look I'm on the lookout for new root development as this is one of my favorite orchids. It's also the first orchid that I had success growing by the method of water culture. I'll leave a link above, okay? But I took it out of water culture once she started to bloom. So, foul pals, please like, comment, and subscribe, honey. We're on a journey together. We're on a journey together. Stay tuned. Now, you know that I love me some hydrogen peroxide, honey. Yes, honey. You know I love to get these roots cleaned and stuff like that. But, you guys, I never really um, diluted my hydrogen peroxide because I was thinking that the stronger it is and the more of this um, mold and bacteria and fungus, honey, will be eliminated when, in fact, I was actually burning off the velamen of uh, on my roots so if you um spray a lot of hydrogen peroxide on your roots and go back and you see that your roots are really mushy and gushy and just dead and right it away um that could be one of the reasons you want to go ahead and dilute your hydrogen peroxide okay just put a little water i would say and i mean i still could be pushing it but I would say one-third water, two-thirds hydrogen peroxide. But I am now going to experiment in the future with um, Fizan 2020, okay? You hear a lot of great things about Fizan 2020. But Fal Pels, water culture, it still works, baby. It still works. Some of these small little tips and tricks, honey, is what is keeping you from having a house full of orchids in glass containers. Stay tuned. Can you see all of this snow mold? I mean, I don't know what's this darling's problem. But in this event, what we're not going to do is place her back into water like this. Okay, I'm going to try to see if she will fit in this container so her roots can hang down and the base of her can be able to be dry. Because as you can see, these are now the clean containers in the clean orchids. You don't really see the base hanging all up in the water, okay? Let me show you this one back here because this is about as close as it's going to get. You see? And that right there is still kind of pushing it, okay? I might take a drop of that out, in fact. But the rest of them, um, you can see how much water I am putting in there, okay? You don't want to make, you don't want the water of the Phalaenopsis way up here. That's going to kill it, okay? That's going to give it um, rot, okay? It's going to rot away. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this baby out, give her the snow mold treatment. I will leave a link above and in the description box, and I'm going to let her dry out overnight, maybe even tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated, but you got to stay tuned. Until...